What's up guys, Fedora Boy back with another figure review. Just like I mentioned in my Persona 5 figure review, we're here today with the Figma Violet from Persona 5 Royal. Now let's just hop right into it, shall we? Persona 5 Royal is a re-release of the original Persona 5, but with a big golden R slapped on the title. Basically, you play through the base game of Persona 5 and are introduced to this new character, Kasumi, who will play a major role in the royal parts of the story. What does that mean? Well, throughout the game, you'll need to become besties with these three, and it's very important that you do. Otherwise, you may as well just play base Persona 5. Trust me. I did this my first playthrough. Please just get to know them all the way. Aside from the major stuff, there's also minor quality of life fixes that I'm not going to talk about because I never played base Persona 5, only Royal, so if things were changed, I wouldn't know. Feel free to tell me in the comments. That out of the way, let's talk about... So, Kasumi, or... Codename, Violet. The latest Phantom Thief to join the ranks of Joker in the game. She has a lot more elegance to her design when compared to her female companions, and I like that aesthetic more than someone like Panther or Queen. Of course, being a Figma figure, the quality is mostly top-notch, unless you're the Figma Hatsune Miku, but alas, it's not perfect. Because of her design, she has a difficult time standing on her own, the flared jacket bits and tiny heels being the main problem with the stability, just like with Joker. Those issues are fine for the most part since that's more so the design's fault, but the bigger issue is... Yeah, her chest is a little loose. I mean, it's not overly loose, she can still hold poses, but it doesn't feel as tight as, say, Panther here. With poses in mind, something that bothered me about my Persona 5 figure review was the lack of a posability segment. I mean, it's a figure review, and I didn't even cover that important aspect of posable figures, so... This posability goes for all other Persona figures, at least for the base body, with a few differences depending on the figure, of course. Now, if you know Figma, you should be very acquainted to these joints, as they're pretty much used for almost all of the joints of their figures. But of course, I'm gonna immediately contradict myself, because we have a ball joint at the head, allowing a full range of motion, except up and a bit limiting in the rotation because of the flared collar, a running theme with these figures. Ponytail can move all around, shoulders are on a ball joint so the arms can move up that far, do a full 360 as long as the coattails are out of the way, and can shift like a butterfly joint. Elbow bend and swivel, wrist moves up and down or side to side depending on how the peg is rotated, and can swivel of course. Previously mentioned loose chest, the coattails have individual joints giving each some movement, the sword sheath is attached with this soft piece so it doesn't get in the way. It's pretty small though, so be careful when handling it. Legs move up that far, but you can go further. If you do, the legs will extend which allows for better leg movement. Can move back that far, and out that far. Swivel at the top of the boot, knees can bend, and ankles can bend. With the possibility of an ankle pivot if you rotate the peg, but it's a little hard to get that. The posability is there, but getting her in poses and having her actually stand is not. Sounds like she's gonna need a standard Figma stand, which you've already seen throughout the video. Sorry, I just needed some kind of transition. Now Violet here got a bit of a short end when it comes to accessories. Standard Persona accessories include the alternate hands, alternate hair piece, alternate bases, at least two, the melee weapon, and the gun. Past Persona figures also had an additional item that was either character specific or just another item. Unless you're the DX Noir who came with a whole bunch of stuff, but Violet here only has the basics. Standard alternate hands, fists, open, grabby, one gun hand, and two peace sign hands that are her unique hands. She has two different swords, a full sword and just the sword hilt so you can have it in her sheath. And her gun, which has great detail and looks very nice. Might be a bit of a struggle to get the gun in her hand, but the hand is soft enough to get it in there. And of course, the alternate hairpiece for the masculine poses. Now one of the best aspects of the previous Persona figures was the inclusion of hands that allowed them to recreate their all-out attack victory pose. Violet here cannot fully recreate it because of two key factors. One, she doesn't have a ribbon accessory, which would have been a great addition not just for her all-out attack victory pose, but also as a fun accessory for some fun poses. And two, no hand to accommodate such an accessory. 
but that would only be a problem if she actually did come with that ribbon. Overall, the Persona 5 Royal Figma Violet is a great figure. If you're a Persona 5 fan, I would highly recommend you get one for yourself. She pairs also nicely with the other Persona 5 figures that if you have all the other ones, you may as well spend more money and get this as well. Though I would like her to have a bit more accessories, what she comes with is more than enough to get her in fantastic poses. Just be cautious of her thin sword and soft sword strap so you don't break them. Also, shout out to E Night Media, as that's where I bought this figure from. From what I've seen from online reviews, they're very reliable, and the shipping time was almost too fast. I ordered the figure on October 2nd with an estimated delivery date of October 10th. I got the figure on October 4th, literally two days later. So go check them out if you like all things anime, not sponsored, but hey, if you wanna. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more animations, maybe more figure reviews, and, well, more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.